hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm doing a day in the life because why not i thought you guys should spend a day with me it's currently why am i so out of breath and going upstairs that is why i'm going to the gym <laughs> it's currently half eight and i'm off to the gym i'm not going to the gym for weeks um last time i went to the gym was before paris and that was about two weeks three weeks ago now so yeah i don't know why i always like i always go to the gym like mad and then i'll miss it for a couple weeks and then i'm too scared to go back but we're gonna go back today i'm getting driven which i love you usually have to get a bus so i'm feeling very bougie but yeah i'll vlog when i'm at the gym not on the camera because i will literally that's too much that's too much embarrassment but I'll vlog on my phone for you guys. So let's go to the gym. And then also later I'm reorganising my whole wardrobe. That is the main reason why I wanted to film. Like a little decluttering. Because I can't even open my wardrobe. So I'm now done at the gym. I'm very very sweaty. But I always feel better after a workout. But I look how ugly I look. But yeah. I'm now done at the gym. So I'm going to head back. I'm probably washing my hair because it's very very sweaty okay guys I'm out of the gym literally all I did was the treadmill because it's easy I know how to do it so I stay in my comfort zone I did the treadmill for about half an hour um but I'm now gonna wash my hair because it literally looks disgusting it's super super greasy and just like sweaty so I'm gonna wash it now um and then tonight we're actually seeing don't worry darling i forgot to tell you guys um and i'm so excited to see it well actually i've heard like quite mixed reviews about the film some people think it's really good some people think it's not so good but i want to see it because it's set in palm springs and i went to palm springs this year so i'm really, really excited to see it but yeah i'm gonna go and wash my hair and that's just really boring so i'm gonna come back to you guys once it's all blow dried and then we can start decluttering my wardrobe Hi guys, okay, so we've got the hair washed and there's no better feeling than when your hair is like blow dried. Um, although it looks like shit because I have curly hair so my hair dries really, really frizzy. But we're gonna start with the closet clean out. My closet literally gives me anxiety. I don't enjoy opening it. I don't enjoy closing it. It barely shuts actually, like. This is the other side. It makes me feel sick in my closet. There's just so much shit in it. I need to clear out my closet because if you guys don't know, I'm planning on moving it out in January and I basically want to have like nothing really here in England um, because I just don't like the idea of having loads of clutter here and having loads of clutter wherever I move. So I really want to get loaded, like uh, rid of like half the stuff I own. Uh, most of the stuff I don't even wear anymore. It's not really my vibe. So yeah, the three main places things go when I get rid of them is Depop, which is you guys, um, to a woman's refuge, which is where like nine percent of my clothes go to, or my sister. So yeah, we have three places for all this shit to go. We can start with these because I know these are staying. I keep my birthday outfits. So this was my dress from Paris for my 19th and then here is a blazer I wore for my 17th birthday. Funny thing with that dress is I got, well I shouldn't really be admitting this because obviously I was underage but I got like one of the drunkest I've ever been in my life and I got barbecue sauce all down it and even with inner wash there's still barbecue sauce on it from McDonald's. Um, but yeah, I know I'm going to be keeping these. Here's my 18th birthday corset. If you guys remember her, I had my 18th birthday in lockdown. So I literally just like walked around my house in this. And then for my 19th birthday, I went to the Moulin Rouge in Paris. And I wore this and I just felt amazing. So I think I'm going to cut the camera off. Try and sort through at least like half of this. And then I'm going to go back to you guys. Okay guys, as you can see my closet has gone down by around half, um, not half it's got rid of, it's all in my bed, but I just want to show you guys like the crazy shite I get, um, I bought this like incredible gown in Spain, um, why I literally don't know, I actually forgot I had it, 
and like look how stunning the bottom of it is why it's also in a size too big but things like this i just can't throw away because what about if i get invited to a gala and then i need this okay so we've cleared out the hanger part of the wardrobe however now is all the stuff that has like fallen down in the wardrobe so like all of this also is anyone else as psycho as i am or is it just me like i kept my wardrobe from my secondary school um do you remember how like funny me and grace used to be about telling you guys what school we went to yeah i went to this school if you know it um hideous blazer but i kept my whole uniform like i've got the shirt here and that's my skirt and then the blazer i don't know if i'm just like mental or if anyone else does that i also kept my lever shirt that everyone wrote on and i did gcc dance so my dance jumper i don't know like i don't really know why i have them um but there we are so yeah, let me show you guys the whole situation right now because you're going to die. Here is stuff I'm keeping. It looks like a huge pile, but this is all my summer stuff. Then this pile is my sister. This pile is Depop. That pile is Charity Shop. Down here, this is its own pile because I want to start outfit planning for my next trip. Because um, I've already bought some stuff for it. Even though I'm not, I'm not going for, I think, like five weeks. So I'm going to create a rail in my office, like full of stuff for my next trip. So that's also going to be in this vlog. So I feel like I've done quite good. I've got like so many spare hangers. So I'm going to go through the pile on here. And then we can start going through like accessories here. Also guys, who remembers this dress? This I wore to Fashion Week. Um, actually it must be like two years ago now to a Paul Costello show and grace wore like a pink version of it and it was meant to be like 80s barbies um i always think about depop in this dress but i also i'm definitely going to keep it i mean you guys see i kept all my birthday dresses so i think i'm going to put this in the same plastic thing as my birthday dresses i also still have the massive bow bag the controversial bow bag a lot of people hated it but i absolutely loved it i finished the clothes and then we'll start going through accessories okay so all of this is now gone also look at all of the spare hangers i now have i don't know why that makes me literally so happy but i didn't even have any spare hangers when i started this and now look at my collection i only use velvet hangers also because your clothes won't slip so yeah i'm super happy, super super happy about that but now we've got all of this so that is my pajama drawer so i don't need to sort that out because i sorted that out a couple of weeks ago but all of this, like I hate a majority of the shoes in there. So that's going to be sorted out. I also hate a majority of my bags. So yeah, basically a lot needs to be sorted out. I also have stuff that I wore like years ago, like this. Like I would never wear a flame bucket hat now. Like I wore this probably like four years ago. So it's like, why do I still have this? It's also a brand that I don't ever wear anymore, which is Dolls Kill. So things like this can go. I think with this, it's going to be two piles and that's, charity keep bin like some of the stuff in here is going to be so old like for instance primark flip flops from six years ago no one's going to want these so these can go in the bin um but yeah i think the majority of this will go in charity shopping rather than depop um so yeah this is just me finding random shit in my wardrobe i found my prom shoes um I literally don't want these. These make me feel ill. Like they're like yellow. Um, even like the diamond has like stickied and it's like rotted. Prom bag. This bag was so funny because the zips broke and it's just like incredibly impractical. But as you guys can see, I like to keep random things from my life. So because I've got rid of the shoes, we're gonna keep this like shit amazon bag so as you guys can see most of it's cleared out literally all i have left is this big i got this for a premiere i wore like this christian cohen i think it's christian cohen christian cohen um yellow dress and then i draped this on me i'm gonna keep this this could be cute for a premiere 
Um, I threw away most of my accessories. Now I'm going to sort out the bags down here because I have some really weird bags that you guys are going to learn about. For instance, this is a coffin and it says rip on it. Like, why do I have this? I went, I don't know. I don't know, it's actually quite a cool bag, but oh, I don't know if this is appropriate to send to a woman's refuge. I just thought about that. I don't think this is appropriate to... Oh, although there could be some, like... I don't know, people that like this style. Like, I think it's a really cool bag. I don't know if it's appropriate to send. I'll ask my mum about that. Ew. Jokes. Obviously, I'm going to keep this. I, I hang and I display most of my designer bags. So, this will probably go back on display. I used it a lot in Paris. I love this backpack. This is, like, a clueless backpack. It's all furry. And I think it's so cool. Like, this is going to come on my next trip. This is literally broken. I don't like it anymore anyway. So she can go. My incredible Versace heels that I got for LA. Who remembers these cherry shoes? I used to wear these all the time for like pictures. And I used to take the cherries off. But again, they're a brand I no longer wear. So she can go in the bin actually i'm gonna put these in the charity shop section she's a basketball bag guys i swear i have some random shit in here okay guys this bag she's an icon she's a moment i wore this to fashion week i think this is my first ever fashion week outfit it was like an all white img set which i no longer have I think I depopped it or gave it to my sister. I can't really remember. Um, but I've kept the bag. It says, I didn't ask your opinion. And this will probably come on my next trip with me as well. Because it's so iconic. Um, it's actually a bag from Skinny Dip. But I love it so much. She can stay. I love this bag. I got this in Brick Lane. I think it's sick. Guys, my room's giving me a little bit of a panic attack. Because... Okay, so that's my bed. And then that's my floor so i think i'm gonna go and get some bin bags for all the charity stuff and get some wipes so that i can wipe my wardrobe down and give it a clean so yesterday i got some of these pots from wilco um all of these actually are new thank god i did i wasn't even gonna get any and i'm so glad i did because otherwise i would not have been able to separate my bags so i've kind of done it which makes sense to me so in this one by the way i love these because you can like just get them out like that um in this one we have all of my tote bags and as well as that all of like the covers of my designer bags i keep all the covers um so they're all there and then just some designer bags as well although i do have more but i don't think these will fit in there but anyway in here are my two like really big victoria's secret bags this one i have all of my like really small little bags that i like don't use that often so we've got like these tiny little black ones the sex and city one um like a little corset one a bum bag and then a furry bag so like little mini bags then we have all my white and gold bags then these are like my most used colorful or like fun mini bags and then this one is bags I hardly ever reach for. So, like, unless they make sense with the outfit. So, like, my slogan one. This amazing Kate Spade one, which I will never get rid of because this was my first ever designer job, which was a Kate Spade. Um, this needs to go in there, actually. I hardly ever use that one. So, yeah. And then up there is where I keep all of my, like, designer bags. Okay, guys. Improvements have been made. So, let me show you what I'm working with. So, here are all the bags. Then... I sorted out, I should have shown you a before of my shoes, um, but we have my clubbing heels, these really cute ones, my Versace heels which are too big to like stand up, then these ones which are vintage Dolce & Gabbana that I got from Paris, then just some like spare heels if, if like emergencies, these ones from Ego and then my amazing pink Nikes, so yeah that is a lot better than before. And then my bags. So I'm going to go eat some lunch. And then we're going to start working on like putting the clothes 
back. Hey guys, this is what I'm eating for lunch. Boiled egg, these Thai spice crackers, baby bell, and then some veggies. I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat all of these, but there's my lunch. Okay guys, so I'm finally finished with one half of my wardrobe. I had some lunch and it's finally done. Thank God for that. Um, it looks so much better. So, this is now all of my dresses, everything. So it's all colour coordinated, if you guys notice. All of the whites, which goes into golds, which then goes into yellows, light pinks, hot pinks, which goes into light blue, dark blue, grey, and then all of my black. Then we have my more like kept outfits. So we have all my birthday dresses and I've hung the Paul Costello fashion week. Then we've got my birthday dress and uh, my birthday corset, my school uniforms, which I actually am going to bag them. I've got some more bags coming today. And then down there are all my spare hangers. Um, and then the bags and the shoes. So I'm happy one half of this is done. We still have the whole other half of my wardrobe and this is the worst side because it's got like jackets, tops, bottoms. This was literally just dresses and accessories. But that's going to be another day. I don't think I'm going to do that today. But downstairs I'll tell you guys about how I have a rack of clothing that I want to put more stuff on there. Um, I ordered some more hangers even though from the looks of it I don't really need any more hangers. But I ordered some more. So we are going to start filling that rack up full of the stuff I've bought for my next trip so you guys are going to get a little sneak peek of some stuff I've bought as well okay so here is my rack welcome to my office this is the rack in question it's actually quite a shite rack I don't know where I got it from I think Amazon um but yeah basically I have longer to plan for this next trip um I've had like a month so I want to start putting stuff out that I want to take so that it feels less rushed when it actually comes to like packing so this is stuff I've already bought for the trip so we've got like a skirt a little set and then these are two bags that i got from a charity shop and if you guys follow me on instagram you would have seen them in my story so yeah i'm gonna start hanging stuff up i'm gonna do a little subdued haul for you guys because i went here the other day and bought some bits for my next trip so i thought i'd show you guys i got this jumper which says I heart me. I got this one which says no photos please. I think this is just so funny because obviously that's my job. And then the last thing I got from them was a pair of boxes which I know it's like what the fuck. Um, but I wanted these to put and then like have cargoes put like underneath. So like low waisted cargoes and have this waistband poking out. You know like the Mew Mew ones are trending at the moment. So I wanted to do that but with these boxes because they're obviously a lot more affordable than the Mew Mew ones so that is the next thing and then I have some bits that I bought ages ago for this trip so I'm gonna hang them up and then I'll show you guys what it looks like okay so here's how the racks coming along that is like basically everything that I bought I would do a little pretty little thing haul because I got some bits my trip although where i'm going it's going to be quite cold and i feel like everything i got isn't really appropriate i really liked their new in it's like mesh so i thought that could be really cool i'll need to try all this on again i'm gonna have to try this on but they looked so nice on the model so and then i got this set which i thought was so cool so it is this skirt and then this top and then i got one more thing which is this like utility top it's like a brown pleather that's basically it for now so i think i'm gonna just chill for a bit and then we've got don't worry darling i'm so excited i'm also gonna get dinner at the cinema so yeah i'm really really excited okay guys i'm all ready for the cinema um i'm still wearing this set by the way which is from plt it's just like really comfortable and i don't think 
it looks bad. I feel like I look quite cute. So it's very like Kim K. <laughs> um, but yeah, all I've done is if I'm going out somewhere and I don't want to do a full face of makeup, all I do is I put on a layer of foundation and powder it with a powder foundation. And then that's what I do. And then I brush up my eyebrows. And I usually feel like a little bit better because my spots are covered. I'm so excited to see don't worry darling i'm gonna get some dinner at every man although i'm kind of trying to be like healthy at the moment because i don't like discussing weight as you guys know but i have put on weight this year over my gap year and it's not something i'm ashamed of or something that i'm embarrassed about because i've had the best year of my life and food has been a big part of that you guys know i absolutely love food so it's of course I was going to put on weight because I've been to like Italy and I've really enjoyed myself but now I'm back for a month I'm trying to prioritize my health and eat a lot healthier and like make healthier choices but um, it's also about treating yourself like I went to a Toby Carver yesterday I'm gonna get garlic bread at Everyman because the Everyman cheesy mozzarella garlic bread is my favorite garlic bread ever and it's just about balance you know but yeah we're gonna go and get some dinner at Everyman Cinema ready. This is the bathroom of our every man, and we're off. We're worried we're just gonna see Harry. Scarlet bread is secured. You are called to join the King's Guard. I thought I'd tell you guys what I thought about Don't Worry Darling. So, I actually thought it was really good. I really enjoyed it because all of the sets. I recognised from when I was in Palm Springs, like a majority of the places they filmed, I saw on, I did like a um, Hollywood and like, iconic architecture tour. So I saw so many of the places that I had seen, which I literally loved. And I really enjoyed the film. I thought it was a really, really cool concept, kind of like Truman, Sh Truman Show energy. I actually really want to see it again. Like if it, when it comes out on Sky Cinema, I'll definitely watch it again. Because it's just like really cool cinematography. I loved like all the um, like really cool interior of all like the Palm Springs houses. That was probably like my favorite thing about the film. If it wasn't set in Palm Springs, I probably wouldn't have been that crazy about it. But that is why I loved it. Um, Harry Styles, he was good in it, but I think because he's like acting with like Chris Pine and like Florence Pugh. I don't know. I thought you could tell he wasn't like a professional actor, even though he was really, really good in it. Um, but like, I s could see it was Harry Styles. I don't know if that makes any sense. But like, sometimes I feel like you can tell it's the actor and not like their character. Like Florence Pugh, she's so famous. I've seen her in like Midsummer. I saw her in Little Woman. But like, she felt like the character as Harry Styles. She just felt like Harry Styles acting it didn't feel like the character i always say it's about lily james like in mamma mia i think she I, she felt like young donna whereas in pam and tommy for me it felt like lily james playing pam i don't know if that makes any sense but sometimes i feel like they stay the actor like it was me harry styles i could tell it was harry styles trying to act it didn't feel like he was like jack but it's really good. I would highly recommend you guys go and see it. And I got garlic bread and I really enjoyed my time. So thanks for watching this vlog, guys. Um, tomorrow, I'm tackling this whole side of my wardrobe. Um, I got some of these dividers. And I also got some more of these like Ziploc things for my more like expensive jackets and stuff. So... Which I don't have a lot of. I actually have two expensive jackets. But <laughs> they're going to go in there. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Let me know if you guys want me to do more day in the life kind of stuff. Because I actually really enjoy doing it. You know, bringing you guys along. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.